So it was one day about a few months ago that I opened my inbox to this message which said, exciting opportunity, Everest Base Camp. Um, and I remember clicking on it and feeling a very, a great level of distance between me and that experience. Um, and within the span of about 30 seconds, you know, having that moment of, hang on, this is something I can do just as easily as anybody else. My name's Mim Dinapoli. Um, I'm from Melbourne and I'm studying at Melbourne University. I'm in the second year of an arts degree. And I think, especially since starting university, I've been waiting for some kind of adventure um, that brings together all my passions, passions for writing and illustration and solving this climate change puzzle. <laughs> Oh, it's been one of those pipe dreams to go to Nepal, at least stand close to Mount Everest. Uh, but to see the largest mountain in the world is, is at the moment, that's just that's an image in my head and I just want to make it a reality. Uh, my name's Sam Hayward, I'm 30 and I come from Melbourne, Victoria. Uh, I'm an industrial designer by trade and that's basically a fancy word for somebody who likes to make ideas happen. The Australian Youth Climate Coalition is a group of more than 100,000 young people from all around the country and um, it's young people who are taking action on climate change in their communities. So I'm Lucy, I'm 26, I'm one of the co-directors of the AYCC. And my name's Kirsty, I'm also 26 and the other co-director of the AYCC. The Australian Youth Climate Coalition started back in 2006 and we were started with the idea that young people need a voice on climate change. This February 15 young Australians are travelling over to Nepal and over two weeks they'll climb to Everest Base Camp. Climate for Climate um, is a really important project to us and it's about um, young people in Australia being able to witness firsthand the impacts of climate change. Heading up to Everest Space Camp, which is 5,700 metres, I've never been to any height like that before. I'm Katrina Tay, I'm 23 years old, and I'm originally from Alice Springs and moved to Sydney five years ago. So I've been preparing by going for jogs around the streets, nothing too strenuous. And then every now and then um, I drag my flatmates and a few friends along to do a hike through the New South Wales bushland somewhere. We're going to have the climate guide there to tell us like the effects of climate change and that's going to be something that I haven't experienced before, being able to see actual effects because I guess in Australia we don't see the impact of it as such. I don't think it's as bad as you think trying to raise $4,000 as long as you chunk it down into smaller bite-sized things. So you do a small little fundraiser where you have a drinks night at your own place or you have a, a trivia night um, where 50 people come along. Um, so all these small little events that you run along the along the journey help to add up to that sort of $4,000 in the end. When you're training to get yourself in I guess a physical shape that you haven't been in before cycling to work and making as much physical exertion happen as I can during my days and also it's been a lot of running. It's, it's, it's a matter of legacy, like you want to leave the planet in a better shape than when you came to it. Or at least that's my case anyway. I think that whatever I'm doing should be towards making the world a better place.